I'm sitting in this chair all crazy. I don't know why. Ah, I just decided to get into it crazy. Good morning. Um, today I have to go to the tattoo shop. I have a tattoo to do. I don't know if there's any boxes waiting on me. Uh, Ernie is on his way here now. And let's discuss yesterday. So yesterday I made a half joke about not wearing a seatbelt. Um, yes, I was joking. I, well, half joking. So let's just get out of the way. I don't always wear my seatbelt. I know that I probably should wear my seatbelt. I just don't always do it. There's a lot of things that I don't do that I probably should do. It happens, right? Okay. I was making a joke about statistics. That's why I laughed at the end. That's why Ernie made a silly face at the end because it was ridiculous. I thought it was obvious that I was being ridiculous, but at the same time, there are instances where people do get trapped in their cars because of their seatbelts or get hurt because of their seatbelts. Now, I'm not saying that that means you shouldn't wear your seatbelt, but to just act like, you know, it's a ridiculous notion that, you know, something could happen because of your seatbelt also is kind of silly. So that was it. I was really just kind of joking around. I guess I really probably shouldn't tell jokes about something while not doing something. But if you've watched any of my vlogs, it's kind of like 50-50 as to whether or not I remember or decide to put my seatbelt on. It's a lot more about individual choice than it is about anything else. And uh, at no point have I ever told anyone on this channel to do anything other than maybe to buy a pair of shoes. Uh, yeah, sorry for some of the people that I made upset. I have got like multiple emails this morning and a lot of DMs and messages and comments and some people even felt the need to unsubscribe so uh, yeah I'm sorry that if I offended you but let's get on with the day all right so uh, yeah and then as far as Houston goes yesterday I'd said I wanted to help in Houston and uh, when I do these vlogs I'm just talking to the camera in the moment so like when I said that that was in the morning like I want to do something I didn't know what to do and then by the afternoon I you know obviously figured out that I was gonna do some sort of fundraiser, <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna wait for all the dust to settle and figure out where, who, and what to raise money for exactly. And then we'll do a Houston-based either print or shirt or something, and then the benefits will go to help uh, some organization in Houston, surrounding areas. I just wanna figure it out properly, so. Yeah. And then while we're at it, Boost Your Bro contest. The Boost Your Bro shoes have been delivered. Well, one pair got delivered. The other pair should deliver today or tomorrow. I'm waiting on a video from the Boost Your Bro winners uh, so that I can share it with you. Just so you know, the last one did. There were winners. I know some people thought that I never picked winners. I, I did. I just don't sensationalize contests. That's it. I'll show you proof that I give this stuff away. But I'm not one of these people. I'm like, check out this content. Like, don't miss the content. Like, it's if you catch it, you catch it. If you don't catch it, you don't catch it. But um, I promise, I'm not. I'm not ripping anybody off. I don't even think there's anything else to update you on. Tomorrow we go cop shoes. Today we go tattoo. There could be some stuff waiting at the shop. I honestly can't remember. But yeah. So, either way, all right, let's get it going. What shoes are you gonna wear today? I don't know, oh Jesus. What shoes are you gonna wear? You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. <laughs> God. I wanna wear the wangs. The wangs. That confirmation. We got the ski pass on lock. Omar in the cut. You coming to Colorado to snowboard this season? Maybe we can link up, meet you on the mountain or something, but uh, hopefully I get some days in this year. And if not, everybody can make fun of me for wasting $660 so far on a ski pass. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? It's really dangerous backing that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Question, yeah, I was gonna ask, uh, did you get Oh, that I'm out fight, here, dude. That yeah. fight inspire you? Yeah, dude. I'm I'm starting up. You gonna drive with those, Buster Douglas? Hold up, hold up. Oh, I put my motherfucking seatbelt on. Yeah, I was gonna have you set up a press conference, <laughs> <laughs> like a podium. You should. <laughs> I was like, how can I? We're do gonna this? start having press conferences <laughs> to address all the shit that I the stupid shit I've said during yeah. the week. Yeah. Yeah. The glow in the dark are pretty crazy. What thing? Oh yeah, yeah. The, with the bones. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. You're like the hype beast Tim the Toolman Taylor right now. Hold Those on. Oh, I'm like the fucking ready to blade runner through the fucking future. What do you have to do when you set up? I don't really know. Let's kind of do it. Let's kind of fucking, let's kind of do it, you know? What time's your rig leaving? My rig leaves at 0800. Mm -hmm. Did you hear you're not milk chug with the mustache? Your milk stash? Oh, go after here, the mids came in today. We can go pick them up when we leave here. 
small right now? Not now, but wow. after I'm done that. Ah. Wow. Yeah, you get shoes. I mean, I'm not tired until like six. We could definitely. We could. I'm, leave, I'm gonna go. If you're busy, I can. Oh. I can. They've been. They've been doing yeah. the toe. The toe drag. Somebody in this shop's gonna start buying fucking shoes. You always wear those. We got one pair. She got one pair. I'm gonna get a tat and we're gonna get the shoes. We're taking Maddie. Matt I, didn't, I didn't really bring shoe money, but I'm gonna make it work. Gonna, I put money in my account. Things done. Folding a lot of shirts. All those shirts need to be folded. Done feet. Technically matching. Oh. Uh oh. A full up skirt. Nice burning screens. That's what I wanted to see. How's this even work? You already put the pattern in it? Yeah, so it's taped to it. Hold on. It's dark down here. There you go. It's, yeah. Oh, so that is the pattern. And the wolves are for good luck. Yes. The spirit of the wolves. What does it do here? You put the lid on and... So, basically we put that emulsion stuff on the screen. And that dries overnight or whatever, it depends on the Oh, so you made that part of it so a day made, ago. Yeah, I did all that yesterday. And then you put the print on there, and so when the light burns through the image, yep. it will burn the image into the emulsion. Okay. And then when I spray it with water, all of that that's burned in will blow out. Okay. And it leaves behind. And how long do you have to put it in this light? Like eight minutes. So okay. It varies. Oh shit. That's right. That's tough. Awesome. And then the other part is the leaves. That's the leaves and the roses are over there. Nice. This is just basically the base to That's make all the colors pop. Nice. Cool. So now we gonna set this bad boy in the sun and let it dry. Intel just came from the Boost Pentagon. <laughs> the Central Network has hit me on the landline and told me the canary is flying west for the winter. So we got to hit the store up and go cop the Ultra Boost mid right now. Yep, the first the general a release mid ATRs. We got Maddie in the fucking whip who does Whoa. not have Boost. He is wearing straight up garbage, garbage, garbage bags miles. on his feet. Right <laughs> I now. got on feet earlier oh, okay. in the vlog, so we'll there's. We'll roll that footage. <laughs> it needs to happen. Like, like Keemstar, roll, roll it. They've been, they've been doing yeah. the toe, the toe drag. Ooh. Yeah, so we're gonna get him boosted. <laughs> also, Maddie's first time riding in a car with me. Yes. <laughs> also a witness to, no, because what you're gonna do now is you're gonna drive well. This is what you do. Oh, yeah, we got this. nothing good happening over here. No. Don't want to Uber back on Santa Fe. If we're doing energy, then I'm going with sugar-free Red Bull. You don't need any energy. You're doing pretty good. You, you don't want, want to go to that gas yeah. station. Okay. No, I like this one. Have you been here? Yeah. I've this been guy's there. a Kohe fan. Trying to save you, babe. Yeah. Come on. Don't try to save him. He don't want to be saved. I'm not a big J. Cole fan. You love J. Cole. I do not. What's the one with the neighbors? At all. all right, I, don't I respect him. I like what he does, but I don't. I'm not a fan. Whatever. Not at all. They probably haven't listened to any of it either. I, a little bit of it. Yeah. So you haven't listened to the whole album. 
couldn't, all the way through. I couldn't get through. Bullsh! I got. Man, if you saw him live, you'd be his fucking number one fan. Because anyone you see live on him, you're like, dude, dude's ill. That's <laughs> true. If it's a good dude, show, motherfucker, you'll catch a goddamn fucking senior citizens talent show and be like, yo, Betsy with the blue hair was fucking <laughs> ill on the mic. Okay, I don't want to be like saying high school old shit, but is the t Taylor Swift? What's up with the Taylor Swift stuff? I don't know anything about. Okay, I don't want to be like saying high school old shit, but is the t Taylor Swift, what's up with the Taylor Swift stuff? I made a video that like, yeah. there's like a, alluding to some to. fucking disses to Kanye and Kim, and essentially she's just riding out the Kanye Kim drama for another fucking album. <laughs> so she Taylor Swift's the whack, ever. Taylor Swift's so whack. All she does oh, is sure. write, write songs about her exes. <laughs> It's so like you start dating her, you're like, I'm just gonna be a fucking hit song one day. I'd be leaving her in the most twisted yeah. way possible. I'd make my so song, song. Yep, yeah, my yeah. song would be the illest. <laughs> New York, there's no fucking hey. fake light. You hey, we got no hey. fucking fake lights here in New York. Our lights are fucking real. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You don't have time to look The lights around. either on or fucking, the lights fucking. Our Italian food, our Chinese, and our fucking traffic lights are real here. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the logistics, but we are making a U-turn right now. <laughs> and I've never seen a map with a U-turn on it. Have you ever seen a treasure map? It's like, now make a U-turn, go up to the, the enchanted forest and make a U-turn. You can't unlock the fucking magical key until you cross the bridge three times. <laughs> what? 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 No. Oh. It says closed. It says closed. Now ours is closed. His is open. <laughs> so you have to back out? Nope, I'm calling for <laughs> It's open. Oh. Cool. Peace! <laughs> Get no ticket. I'm gonna get Maddie boosted. Hopefully they have your size. These are NMDs, right? With the two blocks. Okay. This is the woman. This is what they're gonna bring out. It's just a black shoe, dude. It's just a black ultra boost. That's cool. I mean, I don't mind if this gets dirty, but if it was an all white shoe, there's no way. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Adidas stuff, man. <laughs> easy. That was easy. We, we got no ticket. Thank you. Oh, did you see what it says? Uh -huh. Fine. Dot, dot, dot. Leave. Maddie got boosted. How are you feeling back there? I feel like I've, I've never been so happy. This is, this is probably the best day of my life. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. Best. Look at these boxes, man. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> okay, so busy, busy day today. Shop is crazy. Uh, we're building more brick walls in the shop. There's just craziness going on everywhere. Uh, got the word about shoes dropping. Had to run across town for my appointment. <laughs> just stuff everywhere. Um, probably gonna build these shelves tomorrow. We'll see. And of course we cop shoes. I was gonna grab the um, triple silver, triple grays that are coming. Actually, I should check my Twitter because I just missed them online a minute ago. I'm, sure I'm not missing them right now again. <laughs> Oh, in 24 minutes. Set a timer for 23 minutes. All right, so triple grays, we'll see what happens. But what I did cop today, uh, just slightly early, is the Ultra Boost All Terrain LTD. I did not realize it was an LTD. But these bad boys are at channel. Uh, they're coming in different colorways too, it looks like. And some of the other colorways look a little more fire than this colorway. But this one being able to grab, I just grab it. Uh, retail price on these is 240, which is going to have a lot of people, or well, already does have a lot of people upset. It is high. Let's compare the number one question that I had in my head. Uh, well, this is what the shoe looks like here. Same as the Trace Khaki. And it's similar, but it's not exact. It's like a shade off. Really, some people will say it's the same. So this is the shoe. We only need one. All right. So you have an entire PK upper. The entire upper is primed. It kind of crazy. It's. Let me see now. I feel like it's just slightly softer in some spots. Like not necessarily the toe box, but where the three stripes are kind of formed out of this. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what you call this. I, it's just this 3D three stripes. The 3D stripes. But uh, yeah, so the 3D stripes, they feel a little softer. The laces are definitely softer. That might be it. This back panel feels like it's got a little bit of softness to it, just like kind of the way it's knitted together. So I feel like it's a little softer. The toe box kind of feels the same. The toe box pattern is a little bit different. 
This kind of looks like the sample versions that we saw of uh, 4.0 back in the day, which I guess I would call 3.5 right now. But it has that kind of pattern where it changes, you know, like the toe box, uh, the lower toe is like straight lines basically. And then it kind of has this swooping arch and, uh, and then it goes back into the same pattern again and it, it changes again towards the heel and it changes a little bit on the tongue. So it's just kind of a little all over the place, a little hodgepodge of pattern, pattern party. Again, uh, I guess that's a little softer too, like on the very end of the toe. It's really, our 4.0 is going to be that soft. Is that going to be tight? I mean, soft kind of like the wool. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You're going to have to feel that in hand. It's definitely softer. Canvas little Kevlar lacing system. Big difference here is that the laces don't go into the shoe. They just go around the laces, so, or they just go around this panel. So that's one big difference with the other mids that we're gonna compare them to. Um, you know, like, so that's one big difference, you know, versus something like the Run Through Times. They have that same kind of panel on the outside, but on these, the laces actually go into the shoe. Uh, like I said, laces on these are kind of, a, they're, a, they're a black and creamish color, black and tan color, have a gold, lace tip, also known as an aglet. And then you have your Adidas Performance branding on the tongue. Uh, the tongue is probably, I said it before, one of the parts that I didn't like aesthetically about the shoe. I'm still not super sure, but I don't know. The tongue is weird and the only reason I think they put it on is because when you're trying to put the shoe on, it's really hard. I got can't imagine trying to put it on without this. So it's kind of functional, I guess. Like, I don't think that it would be as easy to put on like that. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. It is kind of like protruding from the shoe. And I don't know that it would look bad if it was just like this. So I, I don't really, that's the one thing about it I'm still a little iffy on, but it doesn't break the shoe for me. It's just like not my favorite. Uh, you have a suede heel tab on this one. You have the 3D printed heel cup. This Ultra Boost branding is actually black. Then you have Boost, and then you have this really cool, which I, well, I think is really cool, the Continental Trail Sole, and then this really nice orange colorway that, I mean, I don't know why I like the color plates on the torsion system so much, but when they like are contrasting to the upper, it just makes me happy. So I really like the orange and tan. It's, I love that color combo. And then the other big thing is the sock collar. So with this, the sock collar is crazy stretchy, like crazy, crazy stretchy. In the other mids, it's not quite... I mean, I might be, looks like I'm stretching it the same, but this is definitely more taut. Is that a word, taut, tight? I don't know. It's a little more stretchy, a little more forgiving, and you don't feel this on your ankle. That kind of compresses a little bit. This kind of moves with your ankle more. Definitely don't feel it the same, and it is really comfortable. It has this just kind of elastic support compression around the top of your ankle. And then most of the support doesn't come from here because it's so, because it's so flimsy here, there's not a lot of support. But when you go into this heel area, there's a massive amount of padding in there. Just tons and tons of padding inside the heel area, which makes the heel fit just really, really comfortable. It's the first thing I noticed is how comfortable this grabs onto your heel. It's great. As far as sizing goes, um, I would say still for me, true to size, there is a little bit of room in the toe though. So I think some people may be okay half sizing down in the shoe. I didn't, but I think that I'd probably be okay if I had to. Uh, I could take the insole out for sure and half size down. But for me, the 13 works. So it's just like ultra boost, like 13 is my size. I can get away with 12 and a half if I have to. I'd say more like your 3.0 fit, which is a little more support. That's the shoe, more colorways coming, coming out tomorrow. I don't really think these are gonna sell out. I think that the $240 price tag is gonna turn people off, honestly. Do I think it's worth the 240? Um, even though I don't really like, you know, money, price tags, like being a tattooer when something is a price, it is the price. If it's something I can't afford, I just kind of move on. I don't like complaining about prices. So I'm not gonna say it's not worth the 240, because to me, obviously it is. I bought it and I'm gonna buy more colorways. If you only have $300 to your name and you, your $300 is spent on shoes, if you only have $300 to your name, you probably shouldn't get the shoes. But regardless, uh, I don't know. I think there's better cops out there for you. I don't think that this is one that everyone's going to feel like they must have. I feel like for fall, this is a great shoe. I think for fall, this is a great shoe. I think in the winter, this will be a great shoe for me, provided this doesn't just get soaking wet. There is actually like a little reinforcement panel behind the stripes too, just like like a slick kind of ATR taping almost on the inside. But toe box is just 
straighten it. So you're getting wet, son. Yeah, I don't think everybody's gonna want these. I don't think they're gonna go crazy. I don't know how exactly limited they are. So it wouldn't surprise me to see these sit a little bit, but you never know. I mean, I feel like we've been waiting on this shoe for a long time and a lot of people may have kind of lost interest by this point in this kind of model. So I'm not really sure. And versus the other mid, whether or not I like this mid versus this mid, this is still probably my favorite. I just like this design the best. Um, but I do think that these are more comfortable. This is like an upgraded version in comfort. It's like they took the cues that the heel needs a little more comfort and that the ankle is a little constricting and they just loosened everything up. Because the prime knit in this is like your regular 3.0 Ultra Boost prime knit. Prime knit in this is like something we've never really seen before except on the mids. So that's my review. Good luck. I don't think resale will be that high if there is a resale. We'll have to see how the releases go. I really just don't know. It's all speculation at this point, but they do drop tomorrow. Some sites are dropping as we speak right now. And as far as the other colorways, I really don't know. There's a gray pair and like a trace green pair. The trace green pair looks fucking sick, but we'll see. That's the shoe and we'll see you tomorrow.